We're so proud of our remarkable 47-year relationship with the New York Islanders. We're both anchor institutions on Long Island, and the Islanders have been really great friends and advocates in promoting Viscardi's access and inclusion mission. I've been a New York Islanders fan since 1975, and I love the Nassau Coliseum. It was a wonderful, noisy old barn, but it was built way before the Americans with Disabilities Act created guidance around accessibility. And as a result, the experience wasn't great for fans with disabilities. For the first time ever, Islander fans with disabilities can fully participate in fandom of the New York Islanders. The UBS Arena is really an international model for inclusive barrier-free design. From the terrific ADA parking to the great accessible seating with remarkable sight lines at every seating level to the sensory rooms for neurodiverse fans. The UBS Arena is just truly the gold standard when it comes to access for fans with disabilities. In the spring of 1976, I came to the Viscardi School as a sixth grader. One night on a Friday night rec program that the school was holding, I decided to stay. The team that the sixth graders had called the Bullets were playing a scrimmage game with some team called the New York Islanders, which I had no idea of. I went to the program and were able to meet these Islanders of the past. Jean Potvin was there, Gary Hart was there, Burt Marshall. It started an interest in me. Here are other kids with physical disabilities playing a sport, and that might be open to me. Sports for kids with disabilities is just as important that it is for any other kid. By being in that intramural program, put me in a position to be somebody who was a leader because I served as captain of my team. All of those traits that I learned put me in a really good position in the field that I went to, which was law. Benefits of a person playing a sports that has a disability, you get that sense of, that great sense of competition, that sense of camaraderie, teamwork, sportsmanship. Having the Islanders come to the school and play hockey uh, with our kids is phenomenal. It's a new experience for them to sit in a chair and, and play a game that they're used to playing on skates. We created our own arena almost and the chanting and everybody was just eager to get into that one period. The Islanders would turn the goals around. My friends couldn't put the goal, the parking logo. They would cheat like crazy. They were so interested in knowing like where we were going to college. That is intimate. I don't know how much more closer you can get. They got to know us. That was pretty special. Since I began going to the new stadium, it feels like it's the right fit. I think the fact that they made it entirely accessible and inviting to people with disability just had the thought of the whole inclusiveness and tried to keep it in the line of the mission statement that we're all part of the Islander family. Whenever I enter the stadium, it's always a big rush and, and exciting. Like the, the crowd gets you amped up and everyone's rushing in with you and it's just exciting. Arriving at the stadium was a lot more easy than I expected it and it made me really happy to know how easy it was to get to enjoy a game like this. A lot of us don't usually get to experience something like this, me and my friends and other people in the disabled community. We are so grateful to have Tim Lewicki as our partner and our champion as tonight's Celebrity Sports Night honoree. Tim is a great supporter of the Viscardi Center and our Henry Viscardi School, but he is also the driving force behind this remarkably accessible arena and resource here in our hometown on Long Island. Let's 
Let's go Islanders! Let's go Islanders! Let's go!